The first step in the process of creating our Cloud PBX product is to create a rate deck. This is what will define the per minute rates that will be applied when our customers make phone calls. From the main menu, we navigate to Service Catalog, and then to Tariffs. Next, we click the Create button to create a new tariff. The name is Cloud PBX. The currency is US dollars. Now, since the system supports not only voice calls, but also other services such as messaging or internet connection, we need to define which one this tariff will be applied to. In this case, we are choosing voice calls. And now it's going to be applied to our customers for their voice calls. Once the tariff is saved, we can define per minute rates for calling specific destinations. The destination, also called prefix, is the left part of a phone number and normally consists of a country code, followed by an area code. For example, destination 3493 covers all phone numbers that begin with those digits and describes all landline numbers in Barcelona, Spain. For now, we'll use the web interface to add rates, which is good if we just need to define one or two entries. Obviously, for the real-life situation, when we will be dealing with thousands of rates for different countries and regions, we can just upload them from a CSV or Excel file instead of doing it manually like this. So let's define a rate for calling destination 1206, which is for Seattle, Washington. We can specify rounding intervals for the charging. For instance, 30 seconds as the minimum charged call duration, and after that, it's charged in increments of six seconds. We will set a price of two US cents per minute. Then we click save. And we're done. Just to give you another example, I will define a rate for an international destination, in this case, Germany. We will set calls to Germany to be charged at one second increments and at a price of 15 cents per minute. You get the idea. For a real product, we would just need to add a few more of them to cover all the destinations we require, which you can do manually like this or by uploading your data file.